Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at a few more rules with conjugates. The third rule tells us that when we take a complex number and raise it to an exponent and then take the conjugate of that, that should equal the conjugate of that complex number raised to the same exponent. And, and this, run, this rule we're already familiar with, that if we take a complex number and multiply it times its conjugate, we should get the modulus squared. So we'll illustrate that with a few examples. Here we're going to take z equals 3 minus 4i. We're going to let n equals 2. So again, we can do that with any number n, but let n equals 2, which is a little bit easier. And so we take the, we multiply z by itself. That means z to the second power is going to be equal to 3 minus 4i multiplied times 3 minus 4i. And if we then take this product and take the conjugate of that, that should equal the conjugate of z squared. Let's see if that is the case. So first, we're going to multiply these together. This is 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 12i, minus 12i, and that would be plus 16i squared. So this can be simplified to be 9 minus 24i, and since i squared is a negative 1, this becomes a negative 16. And this is therefore equal to 9 minus 16, which is minus 7 minus 24i. And if we now take the conjugate of that, so we take the conjugate of this, which is the conjugate of that, the conjugate of this, and this, and this, this gives us minus 7 plus 24i. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the conjugate of z and square it and see if we get the very same result. All right, so the conjugate of z is equal to 3 plus 4i. So the conjugate of z squared is equal to 3 plus 4i multiplied times 3 plus 4i. This is equal to 9 plus 12i plus 12i plus 16i squared. So this is equal to 9 plus 24i, and this is, i squared is negative 1, so negative 1 times 16 is minus 16, so this is minus 7 plus 24i, and notice that, yes indeed, minus 7 plus 24i, minus 7 plus 24i, they're equal to one another, so this has been illustrated with a simple example, not proved, but at least illustrated. So now let's go ahead and look at this rule. We're going to take z and multiply it times its conjugate and see what we get. So z times its conjugate is going to be equal to 3 minus 4i times 3 plus 4i. And of course, we then realize that the middle term will disappear. This is equal to 9 plus 12i minus 12i minus 16i squared. These two will cancel each other out. This becomes 9 plus 16, since i squared is negative 1, and negative 1 times negative 16 gives us a plus 16, so this becomes equal to 25. Now, do we get the same result when we take the modulus and square it? Well, the modulus of z is defined as the square root of a squared plus b squared, the magnitude of the real part squared plus the magnitude of the imaginary part squared. So let's do that. This is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus the magnitude of, that would be minus 4 squared, which is equal to the square root of 9 plus 16, which is the square root of 25. Now, if we take that result and square it, we can then say that the modulus squared is equal to the square root of 25 squared, which is equal to 25, and that gives us the same result as we got before. And again, you can see that that works out as well with a simple example, and that's how it's done.